Well done, Disney. Well done. Disney, you've done it again. How do you do this? Hi, what's up you guys? My name's Jesse and welcome to my review for the live action version of The Jungle Book. So The Jungle Book is Disney's live action remake of the 1967 animated film. I'll be honest right now, straight up. I did not see the 1967 animated Jungle Book film. I watched it just before I went to see the new movie the other night. And I have to say, the animated film was really enjoyable. The music was great, the animation was good for the time, and I had a really good time watching it. So the Jungle Book starts off and it's the story of a young boy named Mowgli who is being raised by a family of wolves and his best friend who is a panther named Bagheera. And in the jungle at the moment, there's a truce going on. When there's a certain rock in the jungle that is out of the water, there is some sort of truce in the jungle where animals don't hurt each other and that sort of thing. And then we get introduced to Shere Khan, the tiger, who returns to the jungle and then sees this young child Mowgli, the young man cub, being raised by this family of wolves. Shere Khan, the tiger, does not like man, he doesn't trust man, he wants to kill man, and he makes it known to everyone there that once this truce is over, he is going to kill this boy. And thus begins our adventure movie, which is about Mowgli and Bagheera getting from point A, which is the wolf's den, to point B, which is returning Mowgli to the man village. So he doesn't get eaten and mauled by a giant scary tiger. Going into this movie, I saw a lot of interviews and stories that said that this film was something ridiculous, something 97% of the movie was CGI. Reading all those interviews, and even the director, John Favreau, even said that some sort of ridiculously high amount of the movie is in CGI. I did not believe that whatsoever. I thought, yeah, right, CGI, the whole movie, there is no way in hell that that is going to look real, there is no way in hell that this is going to be any good whatsoever. Oh my god, was I wrong. This movie is beautiful. It is amazing. I cannot believe that this whole movie is CGI. The jungle is CGI. The animals are CGI. Obviously, the animals have to be CGI because animals don't actually talk in real life as much as we would like them to. It looks amazing, you guys. You have to believe me. I thought this movie was going to look like garbage. I didn't think that the CGI jungle would work out well at all. It looks incredible. It looks real. The kid in this movie did really good. The guy who plays Mowgli, I think his name's Neil Seti. This was his first acting job, and I thought the kid was amazing. Considering he had to act alongside CGI the whole movie, this kid did fantastic. This kid is set for life. They've already announced a Jungle Book 2. There's probably going to be a Jungle Book 3. He is going to have so many opportunities coming for him. This kid is set. I really enjoyed the chemistry between Baloo, Bagheera, and Mowgli. These three together on screen was hilarious. Baloo is probably my favourite character in the whole film. Bill Murray as Baloo is probably my favourite character in the whole film. He was amazing in this movie. Baloo and Mowgli scenes that they have together, I'm not going to spoil anything, this is a non-spoiler review, but the scenes that they have together and the banter that they have is amazing to see and I love whenever they're on screen together. Baloo is like the really cool uncle to Mowgli and then you've got Bagheera who is sort of the voice of reason, who is always telling him that he shouldn't be doing that, that he needs to do this instead. And then you've got Baloo, the fun uncle that just wants him to come and have fun and sing songs and get lots of food. Bagheera was also very good in this movie and he was voiced by Ben Kingsley. He did a very good job playing the sort of mother and father role to Mowgli, sort of leading him on a straight path, showing him what he had to do, showing him the right way to survive in the jungle, and their scenes together were really good as well. King Louis is played by Christopher Walken and he did such a good job playing this gigantic ape king in the movie and he has a motivation as to why he takes Mowgli. If you've seen the animated movie you understand why, but his his scene is really good in the film, just trust me on that one. Shere Khan was terrifying in this movie. Shere Khan is voiced by Idris Elba, and I have to say, he was maybe, if not one of the best, the best of the whole movie. He, every time he was on screen, he just drew me in. I was listening to every word that came out of that animated tiger's mouth. Shere Khan was creepy, he was a murderer, and a lot of the stuff in this movie that Shere Khan does, this movie is PG-13, a lot of the stuff this tiger does, I don't know whether I would take a child to go see this because it can be a little brutal. We do see a little bit of music in this movie. We see a version of Bare Necessities with Baloo and Mowgli. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's really cute. It's really funny. I really enjoyed it and I think everyone else is going to love it as well. It wasn't too musically, if that makes sense, the Bare Necessities song. It fit with the movie and didn't take me out of the movie and make me think, oh, this is a musical. 
uh, it's the tone has sort of shifted. It sits within the tone and it follows perfectly and it makes lots of sense and it's a really good scene. And then we came to King Louis and he has a moment where there is also a song in his scene and I was very concerned and thinking, oh no, this is going to take me out of the movie. I was thinking this isn't going to work. If they do his song right now in this scene, it's not going to work. And I was wrong. I loved that scene. It was amazing. All the monkeys and King Louis was there singing his song, being King Louis, Christopher Walken doing what he does best, and it is also a very fun scene. If I had to nitpick something about this movie that I didn't like, which is difficult because I really love this movie, I would maybe say that some of Mowgli's lines were a bit wooden, but... It's this kid's first movie. He did a great job. This kid has so much talent. He is going places. He is going to be a big star, and I loved him in this movie. The Jungle Book had a great cast. It had great character moments. It had amazing CGI with this realistic jungle that you won't believe is animated. I won't say it's fake because that... That gives it a disservice. It is CGI to the best. John Favreau told us, he said this is the most technologically advanced movie that he thinks has ever been created, and boy did he deliver. This movie is beautiful. I love this movie. If you have not seen it, go out to the theatre and see it right now. You will have the best time at the theatre. You will love it. I'm giving The Jungle Book a 9 out of 10. I love this movie. I love the characters. I love the CGI. Go out and see it right now. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen The Jungle Book and what you thought about it. Did you like the CGI? Did you like the character moments? Did you like the cast? Also let me know if you had any negatives about the movie. I want to know what you guys thought about The Jungle Book. You can follow me on Instagram at jessysullivan96. I will put it below and at the end of this video. And if you want to see more movie reviews and more movie news, you can also follow me on my movie Instagram page, which is at filmgeek underscore movie news, which will also be at the end of this video and down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. See you later.